hello everyone and welcome back to my channel this is angela and angela's southern comfort dishes and seasonings honey today's southern comfort dish i'm bringing to the table honey is some southern collard greens honey yes collard greens you heard me right baby so come on over here baby mama gonna show the children what we're doing now see i got about two bunches of fresh collard greens that I've already picked. Now you know you gotta pick your collard greens because they come straight out of the ground. You gotta check those collard greens for any worms or any things like that. You don't wanna have that. You don't wanna go to the store and buy collard greens and just throw them in the sink and rinse them off. You don't know what you're crunching down on. So honey, when you buy these collard greens, you got to do what mama and grandma and auntie did, baby. You gotta take each leaf, look at them real good on the front, flip them bad boys over, look at the other side of them, honey. And any worms and things you see, honey, you toss them bad ones out. Understand what I'm saying, honey? And then I want to show you something. Mama, you know the stem that goes down the middle of them, honey? You have to cut those stems out. Now, you can keep those stems. You can see where I've already, oh, the water's dripping. I don't wash them. See where the stems were? I broke the stems, cut the stems out, but some of them broke them and uh, cut into pieces. So listen, I got two bunches of fresh collard greens, and then I have two packs of chopped collard greens. The frozen ones okay so i'm gonna mix those with my fresh collard greens there ain't nothing wrong with it honey you still gonna have some southern country eating y'all come on over here and let cousin angie show y'all what we bring in the sunday dinner table okay on these vegetables honey come on over all right y'all looking at everything right there mama got set up for the children honey we got perfect lighting in place yes we do jesus all right here we go okay well good all right, listen, we got us some smoked ham hocks, all right? Got us some smoked ham hocks, and I'm going to take these ham hocks, and I'm going to go over there to the sink and rinse them up real good, some lukewarm water, and clean them up real good. I told you we got our two frozen bags of collard greens here. All right, listen, you know anytime you cook with bacon, you fry some bacon or whatever, listen, honey, you got the bacon fat. And so what we're going to do with our bacon fat grease, you never throw that away. That's good for when you're cooking your vegetables. With our bacon fat, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the stove and we have one sliced onion diced up. We have three large cloves of fresh garlic cloves here. All right. Then I have one green bell pepper slice. I have one red bell pepper slice. All right. Cool beans. Uh oh, drop one of my green bell peppers. All right. Then I have two, uh, two pound boxes of uh, chicken broth here. And each box of the chicken broth is equals to one cup. So we'll have two cups of chicken broth here. All right, then we got our ground black pepper. Listen, got me some red cayenne pepper and we're gonna use about a teaspoon of that red uh, pepper there, okay? We got some garlic powder, all right? We're gonna use about a teaspoon of soap season oil, all right? Uh oh, Jesus, listen, Cousin Angie just knocking down everything. Then we got us some fresh onion powder, all right? Cool beans. And then, of course, here's the start of the show. Here's our fresh collard greens, honey. Mama don't went to the store, got her some organic collard greens. I love buying organic. This is the bag that I had put in the freezer last night because when I picked my collard greens and I washed them four times and then I rinsed them four times. So I just emptied them out the bag and rinsed them off in the colander in the sink again. All right, even though I picked them last night and washed them four times, rinsed them four times, you still want to put them in the bag until they're ready to be used today. Okay, so what we're gonna do, and I'm using over here on the stove, I'm using a cast iron pot, a Dutch oven cast iron pot, okay? And it's about five quarts, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to go to my stove, I mean my stove, to my sink, excuse me. And what I'm going to do is clean our ham hocks really, really good. Now we're not going to use all three, probably going to just use two of our ham hocks, all right? Okay, all right, so I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, everyone, so I've washed our ham hocks and I have them set aside in the bowl over in my Dutch oven on top of the stove, I've already taken the meat grease, which is that bacon fat grease I showed you. I've already begun to melt it. So it's melted, I turned back off the stove. In the meantime, what I've done so far is I've rolled up some collard greens and I've already started to chopping my collard greens, okay? So come on, let mama show you children, baby. We're just gonna go ahead and finish up this last little bit um, in the colander and get them cutting, okay? Cool beans. So what I've done is got a few pieces of uh, collard greens here and so what I do is just layer them on top of each other and then my mother and my grandmother and my aunts would always roll theirs right and so then I would just cut cut just like that 
and that's okay if they unfold because you're gonna put them in your pan to take them over to cook in your Dutch oven or whatever kind of pot you're cooking in, okay, on top of the stove, all right? The next time I do a video, I'm gonna show you a shorter way, a much shorter time uh, span that you can cook collard greens, and I'll be using my Instapot on the next video that I do. All right, so you see we have a big leaf here, right? So I'm gonna do is just lay this here. Yeah, honey, I picked these last night and washed them three or four times, and then I um, rinsed them three or four times, and then I bagged them up and put them in the refrigerator. You see how I'm just doing that there? So I'm just gonna do a few. And then um, we're going to begin going over to the stove and we're going to process of starting to cook everything. Okay, so I'm just going to do this here with you, show you this one. And then what I'm going to do is go over to the stove and we're going to start the process of getting our vegetables cooked. And then um, see here how we're just going to tuck where we have a long piece. You just tuck it on top and then you just roll. Just roll, slowly roll. See that there? See how that looks much better? That's okay if it comes unloose, that's okay. And you just roll, it's okay. All right, so that's what we have right there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna finish up, well, I'm gonna do another one with you. Let me just open this one up. You see it's long on the end. So I'll just do this here. I'll just keep my pot right here. I'll take another big one. Sometime if I have a real big one, I'll put the shorter ones on top. Okay, so I'll put another one there. I don't have too much more to go. I love collard greens. My mom and my grandmother, you know what I enjoy? My grandmother's deceased now, but I'm gonna tell you what I enjoyed. I enjoy seeing the elderly people when they when they would cook collard greens back in the 70s. My grandmother and my mom would make whole cakes on top of the stove, right? And then they would cut them a piece of tomato. My grandmother and my mother loved green tomatoes as well as red tomato. But honey, they would take, that's some Southern eating when they can cut you up a piece of tomato, dice it up, honey, and, and sop it up <laughs> with your fingers with some tomatoes and homemade cornbread and collard greens. Oh my God, that is the best Southern daggone meal. I love vegetables, I really do. And you know, nowadays kids growing up, they don't love vegetables. But honey, I have three kids that were born in Georgia, and then I have three kids that were born where we were stationed in the Midwest. And um, <laughs> them little country bunkins, honey. They be like, what's that? And you know, they got all kind of little nicknames they call me around the, ha around the house. They call me Gina, Pam, Aunt Bam. They got all kind of cute little nicknames, right? So when I'm baking or cooking, they be like, Gina, what, what you cooking today, Gina? So my mother would ask me, who in the hell is Gina? <laughs> and I have to tell that the kids got all kind of little nicknames for me, mama. That's what they got me. They call me all kind of nicknames. They love it when I'm baking. They call me Medea, so I'll be like, oh, Jesus. So, yeah, I love it. Let me tell you something about quarantine. It has brought everybody much closer together as a unit. You know, we love each other, always been a family. But, honey, we cook together, we laugh. Yeah, you argue, you wake up the next morning as if nothing ever happened, right? <laughs> that's love right there. That's how we do it. That's every household. That's how they do it, honey. All right, y'all see that there? All right, so now listen. We're gonna take that little end piece I was telling you and just fold it in. And you just take what you can, honey. And you gotta be perfect. You just start to roll in that bad baby very slow. Roll, roll, roll. Like you rowing the boat, honey. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Look at that. Auntie did it. Yes, honey, this is gonna be a good old Sunday dinner, honey. I'm not gonna spoil it, tell y'all what we're doing. But I'm gonna tell you when we come back, when these collard greens get done and you see what I'm pairing it up with for dinner, child, you'll thank me later. Trust me. Oh, you'll thank me later, honey. All right, so I'm gonna put these back over in the colander. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna move to the next part, all right? Okay, everyone, so I'm here at my stove 
I'm going to cut on my stove to high number six. I have an electric stove. Over here, I have two pounds of uh, chicken broth, and each one of these hold one cup. So that's a two pound box of one cup. And there's another two pound box, which is another cup. I have over here one large onion diced up, and I have three fresh garlic cloves over here, okay? And then you see my two juicy ham hocks, ready to go, smoked ham hocks, all right? And then over here to the other side, I have me two cups of water, okay? So for two cups of broth, you need two cups of water. We've already got our bacon fat already melted in our Dutch cast iron here, and it's nice and hot, all right? So we're just gonna get a little hotter, and then once it comes and get a little hotter, I'll come right back to you, okay? Okay, everyone, so our grease is nice and hot. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add our fresh garlic cloves and our one large onion to the grease, okay? You can hear it popping in here. And so we're just gonna just stir these for a few minutes or so and just get them a little, just till they come a little translucent. It won't take long. You just wanna just stir them till you start to smell the fragrance from the onion and the fresh garlic cloves. That's all you wanna do. Just stir them for a few minutes. Let them do their thing, honey. Get them onions and garlic cloves and then fresh garlic cloves. Let them go on over there, honey, and get happy. You know how I am on the grass, you say let them get happy, honey. And you can start smelling the aroma from the fresh garlic cloves and the onion, honey. Then that's when we're gonna go ahead and our chicken broth. Just gonna stir them for a few minutes, just let them stir. You're not trying to brown them. You just wanna just let that fragrance, just let them, when you start to smell the fragrance, Okay, get a little loose in here. Then when you wanna go ahead and add your chicken broth and your two cups of water. That's all you wanna do. Just letting them get a little soft. That's all you're really doing. You're just letting your onions and your garlic cloves get a little soft. And that doesn't take long. Okay, see? That grease is bubbling up. As soon as you can smell that aroma, you know it's time. And ain't nothing better than having a mm, good old smelling fresh garlic cloves and onion honey when you cooking, honey. Oh we for the one time. Angie is not playing with y'all. Mm, Jesus, here we come. It smells so good. It doesn't take long. Alright. So right about now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start prepping for our chicken broth. Alright. Mm, God that smells so good. Jesus. So I'll just open that, set it here for a second. You don't want them to brown, so like I said, it only takes a minute to do this. You just let them get in a little soft. That's all you're doing. All right? Now, God, that smells good, Jesus. All right, now we haven't even got to the good part, y'all. All right, so listen, we're gonna start to pour our chicken broth in here. The complete, empty the complete box. Look, honey, we probably won't need the other one. Yeah, we probably won't need the other one. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take this one, put the top back on it, and put it in the refrigerator to use for another time. All right? If we need some more, we'll go get some more. Next, we're gonna put, let me stir this up. First, you wanna stir it up. Make sure you mix it up real well. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Next, we're gonna put our two smoked ham hocks over in here. All right, just like that. All right, set that aside for a moment. Next, we're gonna add us two cups. Well, actually, I'm gonna put one cup, since that was one cup. So see, we're down to one cup. So we got one cup of chicken broth. We got one cup of water, okay? And if we need to come back and add more water in later, We'll have that one cup that we have on reserve right here. But for one, right now, we have our one cup of chicken broth. Because one two pound box equals one cup. This comes to one cup, okay? So for one cup of broth, one cup of water. Two cups of broth, two cups of water. 
So now what we want to do is put our top on and we want to let this boil for 30 minutes. Let it cook for 30 minutes until that meat starts to break up in there. All right, get a little soft. So we'll come back in 30 minutes and then after 30 minutes, we'll come back and add our collard greens, okay? See All right, you. everyone, so I'm back again. Um, you see that our meat is boiling and our vegetables with the fresh garlic cloves and the onion is boiling, the meat has begun. The ham hocks have begun to split open. So at this time, what I wanna do is just go ahead. I have two 14 ounce size bags of chopped collard greens. So I'm gonna put those in first and then I'll add my fresh collard greens on top, okay? So let me get this bag open. And you always wanna thaw your greens Okay, so that's the first bag. We have a little bit more in there, honey. Y'all know what I tell y'all. Don't y'all go throwing y'all money away. If you paid for it, go in there and get it all. We ain't throwing nothing away for free, honey. I don't told y'all about throwing y'all money away. You paid for it, you got to get every piece of green out of it. I want everything I can see. Amen. Okay, cool. Let me get the next bag. Two 14 ounce size bags. these scissors sometimes they work sometimes they don't and they, they knew there we go bag is so daggone thick that's the problem there we go all right okay and your greens are going to render down your fresh collard greens don't worry about it may seem like a lot but they're going to render down when they begin to cook and i'm going to turn this fire down on this stove it's a electric stove i have it up on number six but what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it down and I'm gonna turn it down medium to about a number four. And I'm just gonna let these cook for about 45 minutes, okay? So now that we got our greens out of our bag, now we wanna add our fresh greens. Now here come the fresh greens that mama picked and washed and all that and cut, okay? All right, I got a piece of fresh onion on me, Lord. Oh God, okay, it's all right, all right. Put our fresh greens in there. Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, Angie, about to get a collard green because I paid for it. <laughs> okay. It's gonna render down, don't worry. I have all my seasonings over here that I'm going to use for my collard greens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this to render down a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to do our seasonings. I just want to give this about five or six minutes to render down. Let me put this in the sink. Excuse me. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put our top. I'm sorry, that's my oven ready for my next meal I'm cooking to go with these collard greens. Angie ain't gonna spoil y'all today. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm just gonna show you. All right, so what we're gonna do is put the top on. Make sure I get my collard greens because I paid for them. Put the top on. We're gonna turn this stove down. Let's get it down to about a number five, four and a half. So I'll come back to you in about five or six. Minutes. All right, guys. So now at this time, I have some fresh red pepper, ground red pepper, right? So what I'm doing is to punch a little heat, I'm going to add about a teaspoon, okay? I don't want much, just about a teaspoon. All right, next I have, remember I told you I sliced up one large green bell pepper and one large red bell pepper, right? So I'm gonna show you how my mother used to do it. I told y'all, honey, I'm a Southern country girl, baby. Mm-hmm, yep, just like that. Oh yeah, this bad baby gonna be pretty. Now, actually, I got the idea of the red bell peppers from my sister cousin, Yolanda. You ever had one of those cousins or some cousins you're very close to and you're tight like sisters? Well, that's my road dog right there. I love all my cousins. But that's my sister cousin. All right, so we're going to let those. Honey, we'll throw that in the garbage composer. All right, so now we're done with that. So next, I'm gonna add some fresh 
garlic powder, okay? Y'all know mama when the food is cooking, I'm always cleaning up around here. That's how mama and grandma taught us, you cook clean as you go, all right? Next, we're gonna add us about, about a good, probably about a good tablespoon of, not even a tablespoon, about a half, teaspoon and a half, honey, of some uh, seasoning all. Y'all know what I'm talking about, a good teaspoon and a half of seasoning all. Next, we're gonna do some onion powder, okay? Y'all know I'm the onion powder lady. Don't get mad at me. Don't hate the game. Just enjoy the meal. Amen. Don't hate the game. Just enjoy the dog on meal. All right. True that to the power to the people. All right. Now y'all know it's this one cousin over here named Black Pepper. <laughs> I don't like. Well, we got to get us some Black Pepper up in here to season this food. Y'all know we got to season our food. Ain't nobody coming over for dinner, and the food ain't seasoned. All right. Between the black pepper and the cayenne pepper, honey, we're gonna be punching heat all the way around the clock. So when somebody get up from the table and start running to my they mouth burning, we punching heat around the clock. That's all we doing. Now my grandmother would put jalapenos up in that joint. You know how Jeff Dunham, the comedian, say jalapeno on a stick. Well grandma would be punching heat with them daggone jalapenos and that cayenne pepper. Grandma, baby. Grandma wouldn't even give you nothing to drink. <laughs> grandma told you to swallow the food first. I'm like, how the hell are we gonna swallow the food when the mouth on fire? Oh my God, I miss my grandmother. Grandma, baby, grandma sat right there with a switch. She didn't care which way you were running. She had like three switches plated together. You could not move from that table. See how the beginning to render down some? We don't even need any more chicken broth. We don't need any more water. We got everything we need. We just stirring from the bottom, getting some of those vegetables on top, and you just stir. So you got those frozen greens with their fresh, Collard greens, honey. Jesus, we about to have a meal. I ain't, I'm not even telling y'all what we serving with. We just, we cooking collard greens. Shoot, that's all you need to know. Okay? All right. So now, we're going to let these go ahead and get down and cook for 45 minutes. And uh, Cousin Angie will come back when they're done. Okay, everyone. I forgot to mention the vinegar. I am so sorry. This is the organic, simple, uh, what is this? Simple Truth Organic. And this is the raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. Okay, raw. This is the raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. Okay, so that's why it looks this way. So I'm gonna put about a good, about a good tablespoon and a half in there to cook with my greens. All right, I'll come back to you in 45. Minutes. All right, everyone. So I'm back, honey. My collard greens are done. Child, I've been trying to hold them back for myself for the video, child. But the damn collard greens so damn good, baby. They so good, honey. Come on over here, cause I got to fix my plate. Feed my family and feed myself. Now, you know, Cousin Angie, love the children, honey. I love the cousins, love the auntie, girl. I love all y'all from around the world. Thank you for supporting my page, Angela Southern Confidences and Seasonings. Thank you for showing me love. Please share this video. Please share my YouTube page, please. Please, please, please. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. Please share my YouTube page. I know that you're gonna love my Southern Comfort Dishes and Seasoning videos that I do. My seasonings will be coming very soon, starting next week. I will do a video just about those seasonings and so how you'll be able to order them. And as soon as I get the orders, they go straight out via, you know, the mail or UPS, however you chose to purchase your order. Now, honey, these collard greens, child, these are fresh collard greens. And I also included two frozen packs of collard greens. So everything that I put in my collard greens, the full description will be below the video. As of all my videos, all you have to do is click below the video and all my descriptions are there. Come on over here, honey, because I'm about ready to pour me a damn. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me give me a bowl. Give me a minute. Yep, like the young children say, give me a minute. Hold on, honey. I got my fork over here because I was already eating. Y'all know us. Y'all know we can't stop playing. So come on over here. Let mama. Let me get my spoon for my collard green Jeez, I ain't got time to be playing with y'all. Let mama show y'all what we working with with these collard green. Honey, hold on. Let me move the spoon because I need to cheer and to see how we do it the Georgia way. Okay? See that red bell pepper, honey? Green bell pepper. Got a little piece of ham hop meat going on there. Got some fresh garlic cloves up in there. Things like that. Honey, child. I ain't got time to be playing with y'all. Y'all sit there and be hungry if you damn want to. Y'all want something to eat? I'm only going to ask y'all one time. Okay? Cousin Angie about to sit here, and Cousin Angie about to eat. I don't know what y'all gonna do, but I'm about to eat, because that's just how we do it. All right, I don't wanna crack my expensive dishes, child. Okay, come on, child. If y'all didn't get something to eat for the eat this evening, honey, I'm 
so sorry. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. That damn cayenne pepper. It's got a kick. Mm, mm, mm. Now I'm going to go ahead and spoil it. I am serving these collard greens today. <laughs> I did three videos today. The collard greens, smoked, uh, smoked pork ribs in the oven, and my Aunt Mary's famous potato salad. These collard greens, them ribs, that potato salad. Child, look, I love y'all, all right? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all want some? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. You can taste the fresh garlic cloves. The seasonings. At one point. The cayenne pepper is kicking. Don't worry. We about to have some potato salad ribs to go with it. Look, I love y'all. Let me get y'all another glimpse of this um these collard greens, child. Mm-hmm. Y'all see that right there? Chai. You ain't had no collard greens, chai. Look at them collard greens. Chai. Them collard greens is on point, chai. Look, I love you all. Thank you for supporting my page. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I honestly do. Thank you so much. Please, um, you can click the about section on my YouTube page. And you can email me should you have any questions or anything you need to talk about regarding food. Um, if you want orders for pies, uh, peach cobblers, apple pies, whatever, homemade biscuits. I have more videos coming up. I have not forgotten you guys. Angie has more videos coming up. Um, tomorrow I'll be doing my homemade peach cobbler. Shouldn't have said that, but yeah, it's coming tomorrow. I should have surprised you guys. All right, listen. I got to go. Honey, listen. I got to go feed the family. And I got to feed myself. Because you know the cook is always the last person to eat. And I'm damn if I'm be here sitting to be the last person to eat. Because I don't cook all this food. So I'm going to go sit down and be the first person to eat. Look, I love y'all. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting my page. Follow me on Instagram. Angela Southern Confidations and Seasonings. Follow me on Twitter at Angela Dishes. Um, follow me on Facebook at Angela Southern Confidations and Seasonings. I have two pages on Facebook. One is a private group and one is for the public. The private group is for those of you who may want to cook one of my recipes. You out and about, maybe transitioning from work to home, or maybe you just out and about running errands, and you thought, hey, I want to make such and such recipe. You can contact me on that private page, and we can talk, and I can tell you everything you're going to need right then and there. Or if you're cooking something for the first time that you may see on my YouTube page, and you need assistance with it, that's what that private page is for. And you can contact me anytime and we can FaceTime each other if you have iPhones. I know for you and those of you who are on the Android level, honey, we just have to Google to go with each other. Amen. All right. Listen, until the next time I bring another one of my Southern Comfort Dishes from my kitchen to yours. Thank you. And happy cooking and happy eating. I love you guys. You guys stay safe. Love on one another and take care of each other. We're all we have in this world. We are all we have in this world. This doesn't belong to any one of us. We have to do this in unity and in love. All right? So listen, I got to go in love. I got to go. I love y'all. Stay safe. Bye-bye.